Susan Carson and husband, Stephen Carson and friend James. Warmly welcome to Hakka Baptist Church. This is our heart full thanks to God because we see you in the name of Jesus Christ. We're very happy in our heart. God's blessing is over and over. Can senior pastor any attend some band to gain to Chunzana Hin Ramhan, Pin Ramdangin, can see not can shamble it to Fanale and Hole, can see not and can clone and can pen coza, but here to us to say and Matsuma Lulamatam Pig and May. Jun Reverend Doctor Long, a honey can senior pastor Lunzoni, but do the Arzulka Kornain in Nizana, can see any little quotes along the Matam, peak and lay a two he creep a bunny tip to me, a chimtak lola song tea, a peg nak lay, Jun to a ditica, betoy, and Mazoni and can chim tela, to two chan and Napsalay, and Mapali can swim her like Jun Reverend Doctor Long, so much as a fat and Kai Piaklay, Hermi, Holly of the Zonka, Amani and Kong Lam Zonsia. Ahun kan cium tan telai. I merang hulin aje nara pastan aje cium tang nak kahkan hitte kahun cium tabe lai. As our senior pastor has already said, we are very glad to see you in this morning, and we feel that we see again the late Reverend Carson and Laura, and. Warmly welcome to our church, and we hope that this is not, this will not be the last, but we expect uh, you will visit us again uh, in the future. Now, shall we invite our dear friends, who are the great grandchildren of Reverend Arthur E. Carson and Laura and friend, uh, to come up on the street uh, on the pulpit. Please come up in the middle. Siya Chun, Lasong Pek Naka, Si Masala Ye, Amas Dewa. Now, Now, Shall we invite Mrs. Susan Carson to accept a small token of our love and respect. Now, shall we invite uh, Stephen Carson uh, to accept a small token of our love? And now, shall we invite uh, Mr. Kurt Bowley to accept a small token of our love? Uh, finally, now shall we invite uh, Jim McCuller to accept a small token of our love. Thank you all of you. Assistant Chancellor of Hauteur, Adoy Konak Chun Tekhan, Kandak Chim Lai, 
อันบันเบียตัวเตคาแกมันเนี่ยต้องปัดเตอันมันเนี่ยชิมทันนักขันกระชิมได้ที่ฮิกาเลบีกีอ่าอดีมีฮิอามินาซูเซนคาสินติส
we have received here in Hakka. Hakka kan thaka, hakka a kan mu mi a long tukin nan kan dot nan kan zau khata nan kan chom lak nak ve te chunga nan di lu chunga tam pilung nom da kan ngei ti me kha ban chim ta ka du. Laura Hardin Carson came to Burma in 1883. Laura hi korama thongkhat zariya somrete kum thuma arakra and worked here or in Burma for 16 years before coming to Hakka. Hakka arakhana koram hundanga khan kum theruk chung rian arakduan. During that time, she had two sons born in Burma, one in Pi and another in Thiatmyo. Hakan Paklan Koromi Rian Adwanyawa Fa Panti Arakhnayi Upapacu Pi Kwa Arakhini Atnyang Paka Taye Kwa Arakhin. And those sons were taken back to America before Arthur and Laura Carson came to Hakka. So while Arthur and Laura Carson did their work, their life's work here in the Chin Hills, their sons were growing up in the United States. And follow to USA Anomi, USA Khan Anak Thang. And the families in the US of the two sons continue to grow and um, continue to grow today. To and follow up on it, ni hin, te follow up on ngay chini, to te chun, and te follow up on it, and punkar from Aven. And at the same time, the work that Arthur and Laura started here in Hakka has continued to grow and spread. And But in the U.S. we knew nothing of what happened here after Laura left in 1920. E USA atu faleni hin Laura ni haka kat thong kat sakwa kumkul in haka kara katan Amerika arak tun tan nukan lai tanga zera atang tim le lai mikazi tenan city mikazi anak kiti kolo. Myanmar during this time or for many years was a closed country and it was not possible for us to come visit. So I, for many years, had a dream of coming to visit Hakka to see if there was any trace of my great-grandfather who was buried here left. And in my dream, when I came, I was alone and there was no one here to greet me. But today, now, when I come, when I arrive with family and friends, I find this, and it's so amazing to me. And even beyond, I learn 
that the Chin Baptists have spread throughout the world. So today I'm thankful that together we and all of you can celebrate Laura and Arthur Carson's memory together. Uh, and I thank all of you. So now Susan, my sister, will speak. Good morning. It is, it is a great honor and a blessing to be here to worship with you this morning. Yesterday, Dr. La Ong asked me if it was what I expected when we came to Hakka. Like my brother, I did not know what to expect. But I did think that if we came here and wrote our name Carson, people would recognize or question whether we were related to Arthur and Laura. In other words, I did not think that we would be anonymous. So in answer to La Ong's question, no, it was, it, Hakka is much larger than I thought. And I thought that there would maybe be one very small church. Instead, I see that it is a thriving town. And that there are many, many churches here for the Chin Baptists. And that there are thousands of people who worship here because of our great grandparents. This makes me feel very, very proud of Laura and Arthur Carson and also all of you and all of the wonderful pastors that we have met in our visit to Hakka. I have loved meeting the descendants of the Chin people who worked with our great grandparents. I don't know if you know this, but both Laura and Arthur grew up very, very poor 
in Nebraska in the United States. Ah, nen mani nen thenga ma kathelo the e kapile kapu hi the America ni Nibra Nebraska the mi stega hin ah sifanga the in sifak mi chungka da anak choke sifanga the anak thang mi and see. But they had opportunities to study, and they took advantage of those opportunities to study theology and religion. And I realize that many of you have taken advantage of the very same opportunities. And I think when Laura was 12 years old, she read a book about a missionary, and then she had the dream to become a missionary. Laura, he, Kapi Laura, he, Kum Kaini, a Silewa, Mission Gentle Nakong, he, Pete, me, Zau, Pakateka, Arak, Riele, de. And she worked very hard to realize that dream. And just like my brother Stephen, I too had a dream to come to Hakka to see what it was like where our great grandparents worked, lived, and worshipped. <laughs> And what I have seen and experienced here has, beyond, has been beyond my wildest dreams. I understand very clearly why Laura loved the Chin people so very much. And so I thank you very, very much for your very warm welcome and the opportunity to worship you with, here, with you here this morning. May God bless all of you and for us too. ตุเวลเตจกันซาชิบยาฮอลชิมโคโลมีลงลอมหนักอาซีเอนิฮินิจานซองาฮิกาเปียกินเปียนนินมาฮิมิคาเตเตปะเทนทาทะโคนักจาน